Hey everybody, happy Wax on Wednesdays. Today I thought it would be really fun to take you through the developing process of these wet cyanotype prints. And the reason that these are wet cyanotypes, that they're called wet cyanotypes, is that I've added additional wet elements to them and then exposed them wet as opposed to uh, a traditional cyanotype that you would expose uh, on a dry paper. And these have had other elements, uh, wet elements added to them and then exposed under UV light or out in the sun as wet paper. And so that changes a lot of the elements of the cyanotype and they come out very different than a traditional cyanotype would. So once the print is done being exposed in the sunlight, I put it here in a developing tray in just a plain water bath, and you're gonna begin to see the sensitizer leaving the paper and washing out into the water, and also the print itself begin to change color. I want to see those white highlights coming into the print, and once the highlights are white, completely white, that is a good indicator that the print is done developing. And this depends completely on the paper, how long uh, this wash will take. I put it through several water baths, usually three or four, getting some fresh clean water each time. And it each paper will, again, develop in a different, at a different rate, so some of them can wash as fast as seven, eight, 10 minutes. Others take slightly, you know, between 15 and 20 minutes. It really depends on the paper type that you're using, how fast that sensitizer rinses from the paper. And if you've been thinking about joining me for a super fun workshop and you missed the winter session of Cyanotypes, the magic of alternative photography, the spring session is beginning here next week on May 24th, 2021. And it will go through all uh, four weeks of taking you through all of the basics of traditional cyanotypes using botanical elements, natural elements to create these beautiful botanical cyanotypes and also right through to wet cyanotypes encouraging texture and colors to come out and bloom right there on the paper. And if you haven't joined me for a workshop yet, all of my workshops are created the same way so that they're pre-recorded and you can go back and watch the video content or the view the classroom content whenever you like 24 seven for as long as you like with no expiration dates. When the workshop is first released, like this one will be next week on May 24th, we go through together releasing one module every single Monday. And so each Monday you get the new module full of lots of projects and information taking you through every single step of this process. And then we have the Facebook group to go on and ask questions, post pictures, and and meet a wonderful group of artists. And the Facebook group is always optional. It's your option to join. 
but it's always a lot of fun to get together over there and also usually has a lot of great information and a lot of great questions being asked over on the Facebook group. And as always, if you'd like to see the supplies that I use this week, you can go over to the blog post for this week on sherryreplogal.com. And you can also see not only this workshop, but all 18 workshops are always available on sherryreplogal.com. So if you didn't get to join me for that winter session, I hope that you'll join me for the spring session here beginning on May 24th. And this workshop also has a bonus module on how to give alternative finishes to cyanotype prints. So, so a cyanotype is a photograph. It doesn't require any sort of finish, but it is fun just like photographs to incorporate them into encaustic, cold wax. And so this bonus module goes through mounting your piece and also adding those alternative finishes to your cyanotype prints. So if you have any questions, you can always also contact me through the website with any questions that you have about any of the workshops. So once these cyanotypes have been rinsed, they've all been set out to dry and here they are completely dry. And you can see those beautiful colors other than just your traditional cyan blue. And here I'm gonna show you the traditional cyanotypes. This is the color that they would be just going through the normal traditional process of botanical cyanotypes, that deep, rich blue. So there's so many different ways to approach this process and it's so fun to explore all of these different paths and see what's possible with creating these alternative photography prints. I hope you have a great week and we will see you next Wednesday. Happy creating. <music>